Hey, Steve Dimash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Chef Knives to Go or Richmond uh, black ceramic uh, honing rod. And uh, Mark brought these in. They uh, have a length, usable length of about 10 inches on them. And they've got a plasticized tip so you can put them on a surface without worrying about scratching it. And um, the handle he put on there is a nice kind of a uh, meaty handle that's uh, got a great grip factor to it and then they have a hanging ring on the end. Mark rates this as about 2k he says Japanese scale so let's compare this to the Idaho and fine ceramic theirs is rated at 1200 which is an ANSI rating which equates to around a 3000 grit uh, Japanese or GIS rating so in practice I found this to be quite a bit more aggressive than the um, Idaho and fine ceramic, just for comparison for those of you that are trying to figure out apples and oranges. So it uh, seemed quite a bit more aggressive. It took metal off much more quickly. The polish level was definitely lower and definitely more toothy um, and a less fine or polished you know, than the Idaho and fine ceramic. Um, it's really good if you want to take metal off a little more quickly, if you want to have a more aggressive toothy edge on your knife, um, if you're not interested in something as quite as polished as the Idaho and fine. Um, I even did a little chip repair on a paring knife that had a small, when you held the knife up, you could kind of see a little reflection on the edge towards the tip, and I actually worked it a little bit on this and took it right out and put a nice toothy edge on this. So it's definitely pretty aggressive, and it really, really works. Some nice features about this. So one is that tip, so you don't scratch what you're going to put the um, ceramic rod on if you're going to hold it down on something. The other is the... Um, they're, the way they're manufactured, Mark said they're made very, very straight. And then the other feature is they're a little larger diameter than some like the Idaho. And one nice thing about that larger diameter, it's not a big difference, but it's a kind of a minuscule, um, slightly larger contact patch between the steel and the edge of your blade. That larger contact patch is slightly more gentle on the edge of your blade. Uh, than a smaller contact patch. So all steels and, and hones like this do have a pretty small contact patch, so you need to be very gentle with your technique. Don't smack the blade on the steel uh, like you see on TV sometimes. Uh, be gentle on it. Try to hold your angle well, and you can get great results out of these things. So that larger diameter is nice. Also, the black color doesn't show the metal uh, streaks like you would see in an Idaho, which is kind of white uh, in comparison. Uh, I did a quick wipe down of this with a wet paper towel. And it seemed to pull some material off there pretty well, the, you know, the, the uh, swarf that built up on it. Um, it's nicely manufactured. I went ahead, as I said, and used it um, on a number of knives, and it, it put a nice, toothy, aggressive edge on it quite quickly. And um, it's definitely quite a bit more aggressive at least as far as how it takes metal off than the Idaho and fine ceramic, just for your comparison. So regardless of how you use the uh, steel, whether you put it on the countertop and draw your blade down either side, whether you hold it in your hand and draw your blade down either side, or whether you, what I do is lay it on the edge of the countertop and use my blade kind of like I'm doing a sharpening stone. However you do that, just be gentle on your pressure. It does not take a lot of strokes. You might want to use a Sharpie on your edge. And one of the things I like to do is if you paint the edge with Sharpie, try to find where that kind of edge bevel is where you match the angle and then maybe raise it just a little bit so you create kind of a micro bevel on there. You can put an edge on really fast that way and create a small micro bevel on the edge of the edge uh, and get a nice toothy edge in no time flat with just a few strokes per side. So there you have a nice product. This is uh, Mark's new offering. This is the Chef Knives to Go Richmond um, Ceramic Black Honing Rod.